50, 60 years have gone by and you still don't know how to deal with it. It's hunting you all the time. I think the time's come. Let's just deal with this thing. Let's put some time and energy in it. Let's make an investment. Invest in ourselves. Whatever, time, money, energy, let's put an in, let's invest in this. Let's get this thing done with. Enough is enough of being haunted by the mind all the time. Let's learn how to master it. Don't you think so? Aren't you tired of getting beat up? How long do you need to be beat up? How many more times? How many more years? How many more cycles? You have to get beat up by your mind because simply from day one we did not have this training of how to master it but once you master your mind a the more you become quiet and silent the more you're gonna have access to your intellect Because A, you have discovered no mind and in entering into the no mind, now you have also entered into the cosmic intellect. Now you're deriving information from somewhere else. And then your mind capacity is going to open up because you're no longer its slave. You're its master. You have the ability to use it. And it's unbelievable. Because when you're quiet, I can only speak of my personal experience. I mean, stuff starts to come, which I have no idea where these things come. I didn't read it. I didn't study it. It's precise. It's like information and wisdom keeps pouring, pouring in. The vision, you start seeing things. You're just seeing beyond your nose. You're just not seeing here. You see stuff. You see things are coming. You're capable of seeing things coming. Then you have time to dodge. Dodge against them. You can see if people are lying to you. Media is lying to you, telling the truth. You can tune into your body and find out what's going on because you got the intellect. You're intelligent. Now your mind's quiet. You're not caught into the very basic things that most people in the world are caught because they're being ruled by fear, worry, anxiety. This planet is being ruled by it. People making their decisions based on that. It's all coming from that place. <clears throat> it's like, hello? Hello, is anybody there? Can you just wake up for a moment and recognize what you're being haunted by all of your life? Or are you just so numb to it that you can't recognize it anymore? You hear a story that your dad or your mom gave another piece of land 
or gave more to your sister and then you have all these jealousies in you. Your friend just succeeded and married the man of his life, her life, and you just have all these jealousies in you, this envy. And you're not comfortable with it, but you don't know how to deal with it. Because you haven't mastered your mind. You don't know how to be an observer of your emotions. You don't know how to separate yourself from your emotions. Because all your other trainings is about how to suppress your emotions. Okay, let me give you a Xanax. Let me give you a Prozac. Let me give you something. Let's have some wine. Let's eat some more food. So what do we do? We go eat, overeat. Overeat, overeat. And now we have weight problems. Now we need to take medications and do stuff to get rid of our weight. Because we overeat. Why am I overeating? Because I have depression. Because I have anxiety. Because I have envy. Which all of these things, none of them are necessarily. If you simply become work on yourself and master yourself. None of these emotions can rule you ever again. They have no power over you. No matter what happens in the world, what happens to your family, what happens in your, at your work, in your finances, in the economy, nothing can touch you Nothing can shake you. You become like a solid mountain. You are sensitive. You don't lose your sensitivity. You're more sensitive than ever before. Because the more you awaken, the more expanded you are. The more is your capacity. The more you realize that all your life you've been numb. The system is designed to numb you, to drug you, because only when you're numb and drug, drugged, you can be a machine and be efficient. Efficiency, so you can work like a machine, unconsciously. Get up early in the morning like a robot, eat your breakfast, Drive to Starbucks, get this coffee, drive to work, 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 efficient, 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 and all your bosses above your head, they want you to be efficient too. It's all about efficiency. All of your meetings, everything is about production, efficiency. You have one hour to eat, then drive back home at five o'clock. Now you only have like two, three hours before the sun goes down to do your laundry, to buy some food, to cook food, to take care of your kids, to walk your dog, to get some exercise, whatever. And the next day, the same thing. Next day, the same thing. There's no time for you to be sensitive and feel because you're ruled. You're numb. And then you get drugged. We have a drug addict society. Not pleasure drugs. They're dangerous, but they're a lot less dangerous than the society, our society, which is drug addicts. We're drug addicts. Of course we don't want to look at it. It's prescription medication given by my doctor. Of course. I take one pill for my high blood pressure and I take another pill for my cholesterol and I take another pill so I need to sleep and I take another pill because of my anxiety. 